So the technique of the substitution rule is as follows. We may fully exploit the reason why we wrote the differential operator inside the integral. So here is what we try to find. So we try to find the indefinite integral of f g of x times g prime x equals dx. And uh, using the substitution rule, we found that for continuous functions f, we may write this as the indefinite integral f u du. So what we do is we try to replace the function g of x by the symbol u. And uh, luckily, if u equals g of x, then we know that uh, du equals g prime of x dx. So this is a construct uh, by which we use the intelligent notation of the integral. Yeah. So if u equals g of x, then du equals g prime of x dx. So here the notation in the integrals using differentials fully pays off. So here's an example. So in the so look at the following example where we try to find the primitives of 2x times the square root of 1 plus x squared dx. Now we want to substitute u equals 1 plus x squared. Yeah, so if we take u is 1 plus x squared, then under the square root we find u, and in front of the square root we find the di the derivative of u with respect to x. So du equals 2x dx. But now by writing 2x on the right hand side of the square root, we write it as uh, the g prime of x times dx like we've seen above. So we may replace 1 plus x squared by u and 2x dx by du. This means that this integral can be written differently as the indefinite integral with respect to the square root of u. Now we're going to substitute. Please beware, when we substitute for u, then afterwards there should be no x remaining. So we get the integral with respect to the square root of u du. And this is an integral that we can solve, right? So this equals the integral with respect to u to the power of half, of which we know the primitive since the primitive of this function is 2 thirds u to the power 3 over 2 plus c. And uh, we know u, so now we can substitute back for x, right? So now we can plug in the fact that we know that u equals 1 plus x squared, so we find 2 thirds times 1 plus x squared to the power 3 over 2 plus c. Yeah, so this is the general class of primitives of the function 2x times the square root of 1 plus x squared. Well, we may check whether this is correct or not by just differentiating the functions that we found with respect to x. So if we do so, of course, the constant c will cancel and we get 2 third times 3 over 2. The power comes down, the exponent comes down, 3 over 2, and we get 1 plus x squared times 3 over 2 minus 1, which equals a half, times the derivative of the inner function, which is 2x. So indeed we get the square root of 1 plus x squared times 2x as the derivative of this function. So this is correct.